Okay, everyone. Now we are going to take another example of 1D array char n6. Now we know that we have declared a character array, and there we have the six elements. If I declare this into memory, so we are having different different blocks starting with 0, 1, then 2, 3, 4, and 5. And we know that these are the maximum elements, means 6 can be the maximum elements starting from index 0 to 5. So let us suppose I want to store there that is hello. So every character will be inside the single quote that is the representation of the character. But we must know very important thing that inside the character we can even have the hello as we have taken the example we can even have well done now there we are giving the space because once we talk about the character value then there can be the space so this is the space which is coming so that is very important thing about the character now i am going to take one more example so if i want to store the well done now i am taking a character array let us suppose that a10. So I have declared a character array a. It can take the 10 values. So there I am taking uh, the memory allocation and it is starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So that is the 10 memory locations which we are reserving of character type and it is having from 0 to 9. Now if I want to store well done here, so there will be W E L L then space then done. So everything will be in the single quote that is the representation of the character and if I talk about the space that is into the normal quotes, there is nothing inside that. If I talk about the character, then character always come in the single quote. If I talk about the string, the whole string, then string comes into the double quotes. We are learning very important concept of the character array. You can see that I have left the last block blank intentionally because whenever we are going to take the character array, the compiler automatically put the slash zero at the end. That we can say that it is the null character. This null character is used to terminate the character string. Now that is very important thing that whenever the compiler see a character string, then automatically it terminate with the slash zero and slash zero is the null character and yes this is the additional block we have to take similarly if i talk about the a6 there also it will apply slash zero at the end and we know that this slash zero is the null character this null character is the terminator and that is only applied after the character string we can have the question in our mind that why it is going to apply only the character because of this space the space value if i talk about hello then after the hello there are multiple spaces so compiler must know where to end similarly if i talk about well done well space done even after that there are multiple spaces so compiler can confuse that's why compiler itself put the slash zero at the end so that it can say that yes this is the termination this is the end of the string because while we are working with the string we are going to count the space values as well so there should be some ending character where we can stop and the ending character is the null character now one very important thing about the slash zero when compiler C character string character string means any number of characters he is finding then 
it terminate means compiler is going to terminate it with null character and we know that the null character is slash zero so compiler end with the slash zero means every string which we are going to use inside the c programming all the strings will be end with the null character that is for sure compulsory and one more thing to declare character array one extra element space is required for null terminator well null terminator or null character both are the same thing so that is extra space for slash zero now i am giving you certain things to make you understand now we know that this hello we have taken and this hello is of 1 2 3 4 and 5 so five character values are there in the hello and we need one more extra value while declaration because in the character we have taken as six why this six so this sixth block will take the slash zero that's why we have taken the six now if i talk about the well done in the well done we know that we are having one two three four spaces five six seven eight and nine so nine character are there in well space done so we are declared 10 10 intentionally because the 10th space will be given to slash zero that's why the last line is saying to declare character array one extra element space is required means user means we have to declare one extra space let us suppose that i want to display hello and hello is of five character so in the memory i have to say the array of six blocks so that it can take the six character because the sixth one is for the slash zero so i am taking one more example to make you understand let us suppose that we are taking char a 15 now we know that the meaning of that one is it is the character type so the data type is character it is going to take the character values and a signifies the array so 15 means the maximum so maximum number of character it can take now if i declare this into memory then we know that it will start from 0 so starting from 0 till 14 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so that is the maximum allocation of the a array now let us suppose that i want to store only hello inside that what will happen so if user says that store hello what will happen now h will come here then e double l o and we know that these all are the character that's why the single code we are applying now immediately after that compiler will place special character and that is slash zero so slash zero will come here and all the entries will remain blank now there is very important thing about uh, slash zero that is the null terminator that this null terminator is not applied by the user and who applied only compiler apply and that is automatically it is not like that we cannot apply we can also apply the null terminator while working with the programming but if i am going to take out the input from the user let us suppose that if i say that user enter the string or enter the character now user is going to input hello then this hello will be stored inside this array a and this slash zero will be applied by the compiler automatically here user is not having any role so in that case all these memories are wasted but yes that is not the case that a user cannot apply 
the slash zero. While we will discuss with the complex programming, we can also apply the slash zero. We can even scan the slash zero also. And we are having one question in our mind that why this slash zero? This slash zero is applied for the programming purpose. Because if I have to scan the array, then we will start the for loop starting from zero. And we will run that loop until we will find out the slash zero. Once we will find out the slash zero, we will take out the whole string. So this slash zero is applied as per the programming purpose. So who has created the C? They have thought this thing that there should be something to run the loop for character values. That's why this slash zero is applied. Slash zero is the terminator of the string.